Hi YouTube, it's me TFR Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the first of this month's unboxing videos. Yeah, it's a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I know this is Thursday. Usually I upload them on a Wednesday at 12.30, but unfortunately none of my packages had arrived in time. Um, you know, the, the deadline for getting the videos done so that I could upload them and uh, have them go out of their usual scheduled time. Now I could have rolled this uh, unboxing over into next week's uh, scheduled unboxing slot, but as I've got a KTRT down here that I want to review at the weekend, uh, I wanted to get the the uh, <laughs> get the unboxing video out of the way uh, so that there'd be no continuity errors going into the review at the weekend. So yeah, <laughs> so hence the reason why I'm putting this video out on a, on a Thursday evening rather than you know sort of Wednesday midday ish. Right, so I've got uh, two packages to make up for the late running of this video, uh, which arrived today. Uh, let's get into it, shall we? So the first package is this one. Now this has come from um, Mr. Dave Tree, all the cool stuff, yes. Uh, recently um, I went on his, on his website and I was looking to see what he got and I noticed he had a pre-order down for a Studio Series 86 figure that was pretty much sold out everywhere else because me being me, you know, when the pre-orders went live I didn't bother to jump on them straight away and uh, unbeknown to me, certain characters, you know, sold out, you know, toot sweet, you know, pretty quick and uh, I uh, I missed out and uh, next, next time you see them they're on eBay for uh, scalper money so yeah um, he had it on pre-order, he's one of the only places that did, and at the time, I mean, it, this, this figure seems to be back in stock now with certain suppliers. I know Kapow have got it in stock, but uh, this feels really, really solid. You know, it's it's very well packaged. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Like I said, it's come from Mr. Dave Tree, all the cool stuff. Um, you know, I have usually buy stuff off off him, you know, when he's at conventions, but... Uh, this, this time I actually bought something off his website online, which is a first for me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting this figure. Right. Wow. Lots of cardboard. And there's uh, some little trailers for all the cool stuff. Right, so what's in the box, Wilderness? If I can get him out, it's quite tightly packed in here. Studio Series 86, Leader Class Dinobot Slug. Yeah, so finally got hold of one of these. Like I said, very popular character. Um, I mean, I've got the Grimlock, but uh, you know, they seem to be doing the, uh, the, the, you know, the Leader Class Dinobots as part of this Studio Series 86 line, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunately I didn't jump on this when the pre-order dropped. It sold out very quickly, and uh, yeah, so I, I was really struggling to get hold of one at a decent price because, you know, whenever you saw them, they were you know, scalping money on eBay. Um, yeah, so finally got one, got it for a decent price, got it from uh, Mr. Tree, so uh, very happy to finally get hold of uh, one of these. But like I said, I mean, I've noticed that Kapow have got them back in stock, so there must have been a, a, a restock of this character at various, um, you know, suppliers. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to the MCM Comic Con in a couple of days' time, and In Demand should have a toy stall there. It'd be interesting to see if they've got it on their toy stall in the In Demand at MCM Comic Con. Anyway, so that's the first figure. Now, the second package, uh, first of my Korean parcels this month. Um, I've bought the two remaining uh, characters for the um, Mini Force uh, combiner, the uh, uh, Giantron, you know, from the original series of uh, Mini Force. I've I already got uh, Volt Bot and I uh, got Lucy Bot last month, so I've been uh, looking to get you know Volt Bot and Sammy Bot. So this is one of them. Now my Korean toys this month, I decided to buy them from separate suppliers. This. I ordered from uh, AliExpress because uh, the same figures are available in Chinese branded boxing being sold in China and then I bought one off uh, Naji Market, a, a Korean version of the figure. Now 
This cost me 20 quid less than buying the Korean version. And it actually got shipped pretty quick considering it uh, it came from China, especially from AliExpress. I've not had much luck with AliExpress lately. Um, but yeah, it took. Uh, I ordered it on the 1st, today's the 11th, so it's, uh, it uh, came in pretty quick, so that was pretty cool. So let's get into it, shall we? Obviously it's a typical Korean, well, typical package wrapped in plastic. Alright, uh, it's wrapped in thingy, let's just <coughs> get down here. Right, uh, come on. Right, so what's in the package? There he is, Mini Force Sammy Bot. Now, I will admit, out of all the original Mini Force figures, uh, this was the one I was uh, least looking forward to getting. Um, personally, I think it has some aesthetic issues in robot mode. You can probably see them here. You can see how he's got these big chunk chunky limbs with these little spindly little sort of thighs and forearms. Looks a bit weird. But uh, anyway, um, I decided I was going to go ahead and get the combiner and uh, so yeah, I've uh, ordered him. Again, this came from China. Um, so uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the Chinese packaging, not the, uh, the Korean packaging. And the box looks a bit bigger actually than I uh, than I recall, but uh, anyway, so I've got hold of uh, part three of uh, the uh, Mini Force combiner. Uh, one more to go, and that should be coming in hopefully either later this week or early next week. Well, next couple of days hopefully, because it's it's in the country. Um, it arrived in the country, and uh, it's on its way. So that is my haul for today. Studio Series slug and Mini Force Sammy Bot. So. Now you probably noticed that uh, it's gone a bit fuzzy. That's because um, getting condensation. I get condensation issues with this uh, this webcam because this room is this house isn't centrally heated, and now we're getting into you know sort of autumn and winter. The house gets a bit cold, and uh, when I fire my uh, webcam up, it heats up, and it's got like a it's got like a cover over the lens, and it gets condensation behind it, and that's why it looks a bit a bit fuzzy at the moment. You have to wait a few minutes, and the condensation will clear, but I've already recorded this video now, so I'll just have to leave it in. Um, anyway, that being said, um, I've been too far wilderness. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of foggy in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, the box and packet are empty. I've been too far wilderness, and I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.